Hello everybody and welcome to the PE department's options video for year nines this school year. Now the course that we run in PE is called Cambridge National Sports Studies and this video will detail what units uh, are available throughout the course. So to start with, there are three units that make up the whole of the course. The first one is about contemporary issues in sport. The second one is about performance and leadership. And the third one is about increasing awareness of outdoor adventurous activities. So I'm going to go into each unit in a little bit more detail. So firstly, contemporary issues. Now, this unit is um, assessed via an external exam, which is sat at the end of year 11. So students will learn the content uh, which is required. They'll, re they'll be given a few weeks to revise and then they will sit that in May of year 11. Uh, this unit overall is worth 40% of the grade. So it is a very important unit and one that we aim to do particularly well in. The unit covers topics such as use groups and how to break down barriers to participation. So, for example, um, a user group might be uh, disabled people or people with disabilities. Uh, what barriers do they face? Um, how can we break down those barriers to make sure that sport is accessible for them? It also includes looking at factors affecting the popularity of sports. So why are some sports more popular than others? Promoting values through sports, so, so things like sportsmanship and respect and other sporting behaviours as well, such as gamesmanship. Why do uh, professional athletes use gamesmanship to effectively win at all costs? It also goes into performance enhancing drugs, um, different types such as steroids, beta blockers and um, human growth hormone. Why do athletes take these illegal substances? What pressures do they face? What effects do they have on the body and on the performance? And also what the process is if the athletes are caught and found guilty of taking such substances. And then finally, this uh, unit looks at the role of national governing bodies. So, for example, um, the FA is uh, the Football Association is a national governing body for football. What do what do the FA do for the grassroots level of football? What do they do for the professional part of the game? The second unit is about, uh, well, it looks at performance and leadership. So this is probably the most exciting one um, and one that uh, most of you will be keen to do. So again, this unit is worth 40% of the overall grade, and this is assessed by written pieces of coursework. So the topics included um, within this unit are participating in individual and team sports. So um, you will be assessed in two different sports out of 14 marks, and your teacher will write up a witness statement on how good you are at performing in those two sports. Uh, it also looks at applying practice methods to support improvement. So the year 10s at the moment have developed, uh, well, they've identified strengths and weaknesses of their strongest sport and they've designed and implemented an action plan to bring about improvement. It also looks at planning and organise, organising a sports leadership session um, where the students will plan. Uh, a full leadership session, a coaching session, and then they'll go and deliver it to a local primary school or younger students within the school. Finally, it looks at evaluating your own performance in planning and delivering that session. So like I said, really, really interesting unit. Now, the final unit, increasing awareness of outdoor activities, this one really takes our students outside of their comfort zones and looks at sport and the outdoors. So things, as you can see there, like kayaking or uh, paddling. This unit is worth half of the other two units, so 20% of the overall grade, and again is assessed by written pieces of coursework. And it looks at uh, topics such as the pro what provision is there for outdoor activities within the local area, what equipment clothing is needed and the safety procedures in that are involved in taking part in such activities. Uh, we also plan for and participate in actual outdoor activities. So our year 10s in the summer term, they're going away on a residential trip where they'll go and they'll try out some rock climbing and some kayaking and then they'll evaluate their performance in doing so. So all in all, um, a course that we believe suits our, our students down to the ground. It's an exciting uh, course due to the nature and what the course offers. 
what we do say in PE is that it is, it, it is very different to the year nine's core PE lessons at the moment. And there needs to be a genuine interest of sport because a lot of the lessons are classroom based. There's a lot less practical activity than what the year nines are experiencing at the moment. Thank you very much for listening and we look forward to receiving your choices.